the Lord is doing something. When the presence of the Lord increases, the glory of God, conviction increases, revelation increases, demonic activity increases. We have to be aware of demonic activity in this season. We have to be aware because individually, he, he, he attacks us individually so that he can attack the corporate work of God. So we all have to be aware and be mindful. Amen. He's subtly, subtly trying to hinder the work of the Lord. Amen. Satan ain't going to walk up in here with horns on. He's going to subtly, he's going to do subtle things. And his ultimate goal is always to hinder the work of God. He can do what he do because he won't he, he, he won't stop nothing. Amen. So I heard the Lord say very clearly, and I just want to read it first in First uh, Peter two and seventeen. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear who God, honor the king. Honor men, love your brother, but fear God. <laughs> Honor the king. In one part in the Bible, it even says to fear the king. But today, God wants to talk about fearing God. What does it mean? God want to pour out a fresh upon the church to God. What in the world is going on in the world and, and some even in the church, even in the kingdom or the body of Christ where they feel like we can do certain things and get away with it. It is because the fear of God is gone. It's going. It's gone in some places or is Minimal in other places. And God is saying, I want my people to fear me. And that's what we're going to talk about. The word fear. F-E-A-R. Fear. <laughs> Comes from a Greek word that means to be frightened. Well, maybe that's what we scared of God. Why not? Oh, we gonna love, love. We gonna hear about this in a little bit. It comes from a word that means to be frightened. It comes from a word that means to reverence. You're so frightened that you reverence. Oh, I don't play with God. I reverence. Hold, God is holy. Pastor loves that song. Holy, holy, holy. It's in the Bible. The angels, they are around him, and God is so holy, that means pure and without sin, that the angels, that's all they can say. God is on his throne. God is on his throne. Jesus at his right hand. Angels, elders all around. They all around bow down worshiping him. And as they take glimpses of him, as they look at him, as they behold him, all they can say is, holy, holy, holy. They, they, they even use their wings to cover their faces. Holy. God. Holy. Holy. Or in layman's terms, God ain't playing with me. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's break it down. 
down, but to show them, God ain't playing with me. Yay! Let's turn to Proverbs 8.13. Guess what? I'm almost done. Proverbs 8 and 13, because the Bible further defines fear. Further defines fear. If you're taking notes, you can just write it down, and that way I can just flow. Proverbs 8 and 13. It says, the fear of the Lord. Somebody say fear. It's all right. Evil okay. <laughs> the fear of the Lord, the Bible says, is to, I'm about to shout you, I might want to put some over your ears, hate yes, yes. evil. Yes, yes, yes. Boy, this scripture shook me. It's been shaking me up. The fear of the Lord is to hate, hate, hate evil. Oh, she slipped and fell in the bed with old boy. Oh, boy. God, I just been struggling with that. And, um, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. I shared with the ladies, I shared with the ladies uh, at our ladies meeting. You go out of town or, you know, something happened and, you know, you had a long day and I've been around rich folk and all that. And before they go to sleep, they get them a glass of wine. And uh, so I'm out of town every now and then. And I go to eat by myself and <clears throat> long day and, and things. And, uh, and the devil just say, God, God, ain't nobody out here. Why don't you get you a glass of wine? Relax. I say, dude, you crazy. I'm getting no wine. <laughs> and that ain't no wine. You ain't about to let that walk temper. And so that's how I kind of look at it. And you tell your flesh, no, you're not going to do that. And then it'll leave, right? And then maybe five months later, that spirit might come back. Don't you want your glass of wine? No, I don't want no glass of wine. But sometimes you wonder, why does it come back? Maybe because when it was there, hovering over me, I was thinking about it. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yes. <laughs> you think I couldn't give me that glass of wine? <laughs> Instead of saying, no! Yes. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to get no glass of wine. I hate wine.
gonna give you more than a little bit. Let's go on. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Look at this. Pride, arrogancy, and the evil way and the forward mouth. Uh oh. Forward mouth. Do I hate? The author of this said, Do I hate? Well, you know, I just slip up every now and then and say the curse word. The forward mouth. I just said the A word. That ain't no good. <laughs> that ain't no good. The A word. <laughs> the forward mouth. Oh, you know, I just joke all the time. And I just, you know, girl, I'm going to tell you this. But, uh, you know, we just going to engage in the lip gossip. But uh, it's going to be good. It ain't no good. The lip gossip. The forward mouth. Do I hate? No, when you hear that cuss word, let something in you cringe. God, oh God, it's a foul. It's a spirit of perverseness. It's something foul about that thing that I hate. Because God ain't laughing. Sometimes we laugh and maybe God ain't laughing. He hates evil. He's holy. He said we got to hate it. Let's look at Matthew Let's go ahead there. Matthew 7 and 21. Oh, this is going to help us. And you're going to help somebody else. This is going to help you. You're going to help somebody else. It's going to help us. It's helping me. Matthew 7 and 21. Now, everybody that says to me, this is Jesus. Everybody say, Jesus said this. You got to take your finger like this. You got to say, Jesus said this. Jesus, right? Jesus said that everybody that says to me, Lord, Lord, is going to enter into my kingdom. Pause. That's all I want to say. Not everybody that says to me, Lord, Lord, Jesus, are you ain't right? Why are you saying that? Why are you going to discriminate? I thought you was no respect of persons. I thought that everybody, people had a good heart. And they calling you Lord, then they was gonna enter. You skip to twenty three, and then I'm gonna profess, profess unto you them I never knew you. Depart from me, because you was working iniquity. How do people get in a state where they calling him Lord, but they working iniquity? Because the fear of the Lord has been lost. Lord, that's my Lord. I know the Lord. Oh, when we go out witnessing, we're going out witnessing. Yes. We're going to hear a lot of people that say, oh, I know the Lord. Oh, yeah, the Lord is good. God is good all the time. But they shake. But they have a forward mouth. But they don't hate evil. Ain't nothing wrong with a little fun, little tipsy. You don't hate evil. You of your father the devil. You pity pat with sin. And Jesus ain't playing. That Jesus is not deceived. We sometimes be deceived, and people sometimes are deceived. But Jesus ain't. Baby, I got you. Jesus be saying, "Honey, you can call me Lord all you want, but you are not mine." all the time talking about you read the scriptures and you love the Lord but you gotta make sure that you're doing God's will Amen. you gotta make sure sister that you're not pity packed with sin because I know you saying you're going to still go to heaven. But the truth is, according to this word, that the Lord's going to blot your name out of his book, sister so-and-so. And, and they need to hear the truth. Boy, I, could, I don't want to say some things right now because I don't want to be po pointing out some things. But you and I both know people 
that profess the Lord, that do all manner of wickedness. You and I both know of people who stand in pulpits who preach the gospel and do all manner of wickedness. Were you not afraid of the Lord? Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
hold on, hold on. Because now I realize God ain't playing with us. He's so loving, he's so merciful. But Jesus Christ said, don't worry about fear of man. Evil men who can hurt you, punch you, kick you, shoot you. Don't worry about them. But rather, fear him who can both destroy, utterly, I, I looked up that word destroy, <laughs> utterly perish, utterly bring into nothing the soul and the body. And when you're going to destroy that, Jesus, everybody say, when you say you're going to destroy that? in this room right now. He might not be shooting with a gun. Because I might leave. But he can destroy, destroy my soul and my body in hell. Now that might not seem bad even right then saying that. But when you start digging out what hell is, The Bible talks about hell every time you read about hell. You read about an unquenchable, cannot, no fire extinguisher can't put it out. Unquenchable fire. Imagine sitting in this chair and flames all over you. Unquenchable. And then it says, well, the worm don't die. <gasps> you worm. I'm scared of caterpillars. Oh Lord Jesus, you said worm and it don't die. You got five in worms and it's going to destroy my body. And you can destroy me. I need to fear you. When my mama tell me to do something, I need to see that as God also and I need to fear that. I need to be on my P's and Q's listening. When my pastor tell me something, when my husband will tell me something, I need to be when my boss tells me something. I need to have a spirit where I'm, I'm more reverential and fearful. And this is, this is great for me. Because sometimes we get lax in our relationships with God and even with authorities. And I even apologized yesterday. I said something to Pastor, Sister uh, Vera and Sister Kay was there. And, and it was just not the right spirit. And God convicted me on that. And Pastor, I apologize to you openly. Because I have to remember Sometimes we get so lax with our parents. I've been telling my kids that. Hold on, I, I'm not playing with you. If I got to go get a gun and pull out and threaten to blow your brains out, I'm not playing with you. If I got to go get a big extension card back, I'm not playing with you. You better not play with me so much that you no longer fear me because I will beat the fear back in you. See, we, we, we try to love
I boss here. I ain't gonna do that while she here. But when she leave, I can do it. Well, mom and daddy ain't standing right here to watch me so I can do this and get away with it. What that mean? You don't, you don't think God sits there watching? You don't think? You fear mom and daddy more than God. Well, Yes, yes. They got a good scene on that movie. Yes, yes. 
He chose to so when he sit down for God exposed you. He's going to break the recall and then this scene going to be right in there when they come home. <laughs> Right when that video on, got that flick, that mask, that tape, and that thing, and you know he ain't got no 
of them is watching him. God speak to that leader and say, go catch him. Look through that room. Go to that school and show up. And we'll catch you right in the midst of that foolishness. God told Moses, go catch him. They in the foolishness. It is some people, and I tell my kids this, that God just don't let you get away with foolishness. Amen. Ain't gonna let you get away with that foolishness. God gonna tell your mama, show up at the school. Go home. You're tipping around on your husband, God gonna tell that husband, look through your phone. You gonna get exposed. <laughs> All right, I'm about to finish. Okay, so the Lord exposed him. If you turn over, I'm gonna read these last ones. Moses began to say, Lord, don't destroy the people. God got so mad, God said, I'm about to wipe them out. I'm about to wipe them out. Moses said, you have sinned a great sin. He said, I'm about to go to the Lord. I'm going to make an atonement. In verse 31, and I read verse 33 and close right there. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin. They have made, they have sinned a great sin. They have made gods of gold. Yet now, Lord, forgive them for their sins. If you don't, blot me out of your book instead of them. What you say, Moses? These people became at risk for being totally wiped out of God's book. Everybody's name who saved will be in a book. They got into foolishness and risked their whole soul being and name being taken out of this book. They thought it just was fun. It seemed like just a moment of pleasure. Look at this. Look what God told Moses. Moses, I'm not going to blot your name out. But whoever has sinned against me, him, I'm going to blot out. No, no, Moses. You, ain't, you went down there acting a fool. The one who was down there acting a fool. That's the one I'm going to blot out. And then lastly in 35, and the Lord did what to the people? Plagued them <laughs> because they made the calf. Now the Lord made me look that word up. It says, inflict a disease. The Lord, the people came to Aaron when Moses went looking and said, let's get it crumping. Moses on the mouth with God. Let's get it crumping. At the end of the day, the Lord plagued their behinds. The Lord put a disease on them. The Lord put a disease on them. They didn't know who they was playing with. And, and God is just saying the fear of the Lord is to understand God don't play with us. There's some things we just better not touch. <laughs> Everybody doing it. You better not do it. You better fear God enough to say, man, all right, I'll see y'all later. Even if you want to seem cool, even if you don't want to start preaching to him, you better have enough fear of God in you to say, I'm going to check y'all later. <laughs> okay, just, just call me when y'all finish. Because God will cut me into pieces. Jesus. 
can stand your feet. I'm done. No. That man going to tell you everything, B. Man, whoever. He going to tell you everything. You so cute. But I know he ain't about to get me left. And God, they might not even have gonorrhea. And they touch you. Now you got gonorrhea. You poor.
It's a trap. Satan desires to inflict a disease on you. And God said, if you don't stop entertaining that thing, I'm going to let it happen. It's a trap. It's a trap. It's a trap. And God is saying you have to hate that thing. He made me. I had finished this word and the Lord made me look up that word plague. 